What I have here is a Rode Pro Snackmaster. And of course I picked the non-American side or non-English side. There you go. A Rode Pro Snackmaster refrigerator. And I've been meaning to get one of these for many years. I had one a long time ago and then I got rid of it. So we're going to get one again and try it out. See if I can get something that will keep everything that I have cold. So this is actually an official unboxing of this. You can get these at all truck stops. Get them at Walmart. You can get them at get it at Amazon. You can get it everywhere. I got mine free. How's that? With points. And let's see how she pulls out. There we go. And I wanted this one specifically because it fits exactly where I want to put it. And the rest of this is just styrofoam and packaging. I am going to keep that, however, just in case. And let's see if it actually keeps the drinks at 30 to 35 degrees. And she comes with instructions. And let's plug her in. I'm a little bit nervous about plugging things in here. I've had things fry. Plugging them in there. Uh, what happens is this always melts but according to the amps and voltage we should be okay and this is the face plate it he it cools things I have it on the cool setting it also warms things and it has a little light on off So let's put some stuff in there and see what happens. All right, we're going to read the directions here. What other reviewers do that? None. Mesures de protection importantes. Oh, wait. Wrong side. Keep doing that. All right. Important safeguards. This is important. To protect against electrical hazards, do not immerse power plug in water. Okay. Hmm. Close supervision is necessary when used by or near children. Do not use the unit for applications other than intended use. Okay. Use this unit, use of this unit with the vehicle engine running to avoid draining the vehicle's battery. Never leave engine running in an enclosed poorly. Huh? Never leave engine running in an enclosed or poorly ventilated area. The vehicle engine? Of course not. Unplug unit when not in use. Okay. Is this compelling video? Locate power plug inside snap compartment behind. Okay, yeah, I knew that. That's where you take the power plug out. This is how you use the unit. Set the switch to cool or warm. Okay. The unit will take about 30 minutes to cool down or warm up. The unit will always perform best when it is filled with food and beverages. 
and it's best to have pre-chilled items when using it. So use your real refrigerator at home and then put them in there. It kind of gives it an extra boost. When the cooler or warmer has reached its desired temperature, you may unplug the power cord and put it back in its compartment and take the unit with you. So it's like a portable ice chest. Do not switch the switch directly from cold to warm. Always use the middle setting first. And lastly, push the light switch to illuminate the inside of the cooler and vice versa when you want to turn it off. I'm not just doing a review of this product and then forgetting about it. I'm actually going to bring you guys along and bring the uh, item with me and keep monitoring it just to see if it does what it says it's going to do. I'm a little bit concerned about the temperature that it's keeping it right now. 50 degrees is not cold enough. Um, lunch meat and meat is supposed to be stored at below or 40 degrees and this is not doing that so I'm a little bit worried about it. One mistake I was making when I was telling you about the temperature of this and another friend of mine pointed out this says cools to 35 30 to 35 degrees right? I didn't even read the next sentence or the next two words below ambient temperature. So, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's not, it's kind of misleading. They want you to think it cools to 30 to 35 degrees, but that, that's not the end of the sentence. It's below ambient temperature. So, keep that in mind when you buy this. It's not going to keep things that cold, but it's cold enough for sandwiches and stuff. I haven't died from anything I've put in there. So, just to clarify that on the box. We are making tuna fish sandwiches today. Getting this can open. Ask any mermaid you happen to see what's the best tuna? Chicken of the sea. All right, we've got our tuna. Now we just need to put the stuff in it. We got Miracle Whip and onions to add to it. Then we'll be good to go. All right, we have one sandwich done and uh, we ought to be able to get three more sandwiches out of this. So let's try to do that. Dang, if I only had some potato chips and pickles, I'd have a full on lunch. Now we'll wrap these other two sandwiches up and then we'll have uh, sandwiches for tomorrow too. This is actually good tuna. I like uh, mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. It doesn't matter to me, either one. A sandwich has to have onions on it. So that's why I put onions on it. You can put tomatoes, lettuce, whatever you want to make a sandwich like what you like. Like I said, I got mine for free because I used my points with my fuel card. I looked on the internet, Amazon had it at $90. There were a couple of places a little bit lower than that, but for the most part, uh, I even saw it up to $130 at Sears. Walmart was at $90. Uh, so, you know what? Buy it at a truck stop. Um, at Pilot Flying J, I usually saw it for $89. Love's had it for uh, $89, but Love's has it on sale, I think right now, but I don't know when you're going to be watching this, but you might want to check Love's because it showed even as low as $69. So check all over the internet before you buy it.